first we're going to do is up and second is down. So uh, we're working on push-ups. Okay, but we want to think of when we talk about push-ups, actually I think the name is sort of misleading. It's really obvious, it actually describes the movement perfectly, but uh, it describes the outcome of the movement instead of the movement. And actually push-ups, as basic as they may seem, you see a lot of people get them wrong. So uh, push-up is the most basic body weight horizontal press. So Rob, if you could just lock your shoulder blades back in perfect posture. Uh, as always, jaw over the collarbone. Please go ahead and pull back and extend forward without letting, no, there's no need uh, for your shoulder to release and extend too far on the socket. If I'm watching from behind, you notice the scapula begins to flare out. That means he's overreaching, if that makes sense. So nice, good, good, easy posture. That is how a push-up should look. If you can no longer do push-ups with that degree of technique and accuracy, um, you've got to change the way you do push-ups. Okay, so go ahead and try to rock your shoulders, just take one knee at a time and supply that to the ground. Perfect. Up on toes, nice steady posture. Go ahead and push up. Okay. Um, a lot of people also, Rob has a tighter grip. Rob goes, and that's okay. He goes elbows pretty close to rib cage. That's going to highlight the triceps pretty significantly. The farther out he goes, the more he'll put it on the anterior delt from the shoulder. Okay. We usually ask our kids, uh, and recommendations of viewers, if you were from an aerial view, draw a line across the clavicle and do not let, let the elbow pass that line. It's going to stay below that line, the shoulders back. Okay. We usually aim for about a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and do a few round. Okay. It's perfect. And then with everything, it's a basic body weight movement, but you can change it with pace. So if Rob goes, go ahead and do a few fast ones. Okay, just rep it out. Go ahead and go down slow. Touch and pop. Boom. Again, down slow. Got an eccentric descent. Boom. Explosive ascent. And then what I, one thing I think is really powerful, if you, if you want to dig into it, is recognize where your weak point is. Me, I'm usually weak right about here. That's when I, I start to change. What recognize you can hold an isometric contraction, really a little quiver, a shape that's awesome. Uh, support structures being worked through the hold. So you know, take a knee real quick. It's a great job. So uh, you get a lot of work done on the horizontal press uh, with that sort of movement for the basic. If we want to challenge it more, okay, theoretically, we can start putting things uh, safe and stable on the back. I'm not totally sure to endorse that for people at home. But you could just throw a backpack on top and do sort of a weighted push-up. That's fair. Uh, you can add a band, Rob. You can add a band so that when you move it around with each hand, it'll sit over the scaps just above on top of the tries, and everything about the movement from there is going to be the same. It will become slightly more difficult at the top of the movement as the band lengthens. This tension is fine. Off, or, uh, switch, sorry. Take that off. I think those are great. Uh, probably for a younger lifter, it's better to develop coordination. Go ahead and do a push up with one foot in the air. Okay, go ahead. Just a couple on each leg. So, unilateral, try not to tip your body too much. Nice control. Go to really pull the core together. Pause. Um, if you want to show uh, some hydrant push ups, knee uh, up to the side. Yeah. I think you got it. Okay. Hold position, pull your knee up and out to the side, a little higher if you can, there it is, and press, and hit the other side as well. Push-up variations, perfect, good job. All right, if you're tough and want to try the one-arm push-up, I actually don't know how to do it, so I can't help you, otherwise that's great.